I thought I'd begin by showing you my first hemi-sync synthesizer. This is like the um, first one on the market ever. This, this is the thing that started the whole movement and this job still works. It's a little odd but it functions beautifully. Um, and in many ways is, is still, in terms of its design, the, the best, best binaural beat synthesizer I think that has ever been on the market in terms of its various flexibilities and the frequencies. Right now I've got a, a really nice alpha tone going. Um, and th this was something that to me was absolutely positively groundbreaking. There, there was really nothing like it when this first appeared. There was certainly nothing like it in re recorded form. It completely changed the, the game. And of course I was a much younger person and I was always experimenting with different things like smoking a, smoking a joint of some really primo cannabis with this thing could take you places really unusual places and and fascinatingly marvelous meditative meditative states states of consciousness where you would have to say just pristine silent mind i mean as silent as the si most silent advanced meditator so this whole thing here has been able to take me with my own mental equipment and other uh, accoutrements take me to places that simply would not be accessible, would not be available through ordinary means, I suppose unless you were engaged in some very profound hypnotic practices. What has become more popular lately is th this is my uh, collection of CDs that I've I tried to get every, every product I could find on the market. So we have uh, pretty much pretty much the whole gamut of everybody from um, uh, the Re Relaxation Company, uh, Jeffrey Thompson, we've got uh, uh, all these sort of uh, planet sounds, gamma meditation, awakened mind, theta meditation, brainwave massage, a lot of stuff from transparent, um, various frequencies, alphas, uh, lambda, unusual higher frequencies, planets, Saturn, Jupiter, these are from the uh, NASA recordings of the uh, fields that the, I think, Voyager and some other satellites went through and um, actually picked up the sounds of those, those planetary fields. Um, who else is in here? Transparent, Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, Earth, and then uh, binaural beats like ultra deep meditation, chakra balancing, digital drug, headache release, meditative ocean. Einstein's mind. There is a lot of stuff out there. So the material is there. And then I will show you. I hope the microphone continues working. As I mentioned before, we've got the, the big boy here. This is also made by Alan Lightfoot of AWI, the same guy that made the uh, oscillator I just showed you. And this, this beast. This beast is actually the, the, the real pro, pro power unit that was used at Monroe Institute. We could set up very specific complex waveforms with this thing. So have a gander at that. This, this, is, um, this is sort of the, the big daddy. This is the thing that has been the father of so many of those CDs you've purchased have been directly, uh, directly generated using this and other musical editions. So let's put this thing back. So I think where this has taken us, the whole, the whole nature of this project, uh, the whole nature of this project on one level has been somewhat technical. It's, it's required technical aids to get to these places. Uh, but at the same time, technology probably has been able to bridge the gap with meditation. So then you, you get into these questions, well, you know, is NLP, can we move NLP in meditative directions, meditational or sort of more um, deeper mental functioning directions, even perhaps deeper than you could reach through the normal 
um, submodality processes or DHE imaging or something like that? Um, I tend to think that the answer is yes, uh, that, and that's strongly been marked out in the, the work I've been doing on myself, is using this stuff with the standard NLP models has permitted access in ways, I, I think is sort of a way to, to really fully, I don't know fully, but, but to get deeper into one sort of neurological processing self at a meditative level, then start doing NLP-based practices, get your, get your NLP in at a much more core level than sort of just working on the sort of descriptive surface of things. So I'll, um, I'll, I'll kind of end on this, that point and then um, discuss some more of what I've been doing with the DHE and Grinder side.